I'm at the Atrium Gallery of Realty USA, located at 4747 Vestal Parkway East, located directly across from University Plaza. Hi, I'm Fred Exlander, and with me today is local artist Jim Mullen. Jim is also a professor of art emeritus at SUNY Oneonta. Jim, thank you for joining us today, and welcome to the John Byrne Show. Well, thanks so much, Fred. Uh, You've got a great uh, array of art here uh, uh, for the months of December and January. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your pieces here. They're all holiday themed, aren't they? Well, when you asked me, uh, since it was uh, that particular time of year, I wanted to put some things in here that were small and intimate, the kind of things that I bring out myself every Christmas holiday season. My major purpose was to try to help chow. So I, I don't care to make any profit out of any of this. I just want to show the works in this nice environment. Uh, and there are small works, which I generally work on, like uh, this uh, linoleum block print, sometimes called line of cut. Jim, can you tell us a little bit about the technique that's used here in line of cut? How, how is that formed? Well, you have this material, linoleum, used to be a popular floor covering. <laughs> uh, you carve into the linoleum, as I do, making lines, and then you uh, roll ink on it with a little roller. The lines will be white because you've removed that part of the block. Right, and a lot so of us, I think... Negative. Uh, uh, learn this uh, in uh, grade school art sure. classes, right? Yeah, so yeah. We... and uh, so it's, it's become a rather popular medium lately. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are doing very complex things, as am I, with something like uh, this piece over here, which uh, uses two different blocks, and then I use cut stencils to create even more colors. So mm -hmm. there's like eight different colors on here, that's quite and unique it, because in a lot of line of cut it's kind of monochromatic, but this, you've got at least, I would say, three or four different colors here. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I like to do is sort of in a small world, make something that has great subtlety and it's revealed to you uh, sort of slowly. Well, it's very nicely done. Now we go from the, the line of cut technique to your uh, ink and watercolors over here, it's something totally different. Well, very similar, but all my work is so dependent on line, so the, the black line becomes sort of the, the structure of the whole print, or the whole drawing in this case, with watercolor. Again, these are recent things that I just did for this exhibition. Mm -hmm. I go to Wegmans, have beautiful flowers there, beautiful <laughs> uh, varied uh, uh, pots that they have, and uh, I like to sort of capture the moment of these yeah, inanimate objects. It's, it's the inspiration for some of these <laughs> things. And what you have here are largely poinsettias and other holiday type uh, motifs that, uh, by the way, uh, for our viewers, are very, very affordable here and uh, would make great Christmas gifts and you're also helping out Chow do your generosity. And Jim, we've, we've gone from uh, lino engraving to watercolor, and now we're at one of your Buren engravings, which is uh, a small work, but just outstanding. The color is, is, is fantastic. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about how you did this? Well, thanks, Fred. Again, uh, here you are plowing into metal. This is a piece of zinc. A sharpened tool is used to literally plow into the metal. And after that plowing is done, which creates the design, you then force ink down into the grooves and you print it on a printing press. The ink is squeezed out and lies on the surface of the paper. So with any kind of intaglio etching, in it, you can see what's called the plate mark where mm -hmm. the paper has been imprinted uh, from the, the press onto the paper. So here, after engraving, I use several different colors of ink and as you wipe the ink, you get uh, different nuances of color. Jim, thank you so much for joining us here today in the John Burns Show. You have a truly amazing uh, group of work, and uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Well, it's, it's quite a delight to do so, and I'm very honored and appreciate the opportunity. I sure hope that uh, people enjoy it. So folks, stop by, take a look at Jim's work, and don't forget all the proceeds of the sale of any of the pieces here will be donated to Chow. So on behalf of myself, John Burns, and Realty USA, I wish you a happy holiday season. 
And when you're here, make sure you stop by and say hello to John Burns. He'd love to talk to you about buying and selling real estate.